Hi everyone, this is Silver Wattle here. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk about the battle pass in Genshin Impact. So since we're nearing the end of this battle pass period, we only have about just over three days left. I'm sure most of you would be close to, um, would have hit level 50 in the battle pass or very close to hitting level 50. And that begs the question, is it worth it to spend um, 10 US dollars or in my case 15 Australian dollars to get the Nosti him so that you can get all the premium I guess the premium rewards from the premium battle pass so to answer this question um, I guess it really depends on what type of player you are you know for example if you barely play this game you know if you're busy with uh, real life commitments you know and you know maybe you log on to this game once or twice every week then probably it's not worth it to buy this battle pass um, <clears throat> this battle pass is completely um, optional right you won't you know get huge amount of progress just because you buy the battle pass but the things you do get from this battle pass is quite nice and um, it does help out with your progress just by a little bit so my general rule when deciding to spend money on uh, games such as Genshin Impact and other sorts of gacha game is that I will be happy to spend um, say for example one dollar per hour of enjoyment uh, that I get out of this game right and I think that's a good rule to follow because it limits the amount of um, <clears throat> money right you spend on these type of games which can at times you know go completely out of control and um, uh, basing the amount of money you spend on this game on the uh, <clears throat> on the amount of time right you spent playing is also a good way to uh, I guess support uh, the developers right and you know not you know <laughs> not destroy your own wallet all right <clears throat> so back to the question whether or not you should get this um, battle pass I think what you really have to consider is whether or not you want one of these um, special uh, battle pass uh, exclusive weapons so these weapons the black sword serpents serpent spine solar pearl the viridescent hunt and deathmatch these are weapons that you cannot get in the regular gacha or anywhere else you can only get it from the battle pass um, the only thing special about the the premium battle pass so the Gnostic him is that you know you get this special weapon besides this weapon which you get at um, level 30 everything else is technically farmable you know getting these extra items are nice for your progress but it's not necessary Right, you can spend a few days doing a few uh, ley lines and you'll get the same amount of EXP or more off, like as you would get from this battle pass. So yeah, so what you should do is that you should go uh, to, yeah, to, to this um, tab in the battle pass and just read through um, <clears throat> the effects of these weapons right? and really ask yourself, is it really something that you want? Is it really something that you want? Right, these weapons are all really amazing. They have um, crit rate subsets, and you know, crit rate subsets is definitely like one of the better subsets to have on any weapon. Um, yeah, so that's what I think. Um, if you spend a lot of time uh, playing this game, you really enjoy this game, and um, you know, uh, you have the ability to spend say ten, fifteen dollars right and you know <clears throat> and you really want to support the developers and you really want to want one of these weapons right then definitely you should consider right purchasing the battle pass i think what's really nice about this game is that the levels on the battle pass is quite accessible you know even as a uh, mostly free to play player just playing this game daily i managed to get um, level 50 before the end of this battle pass period Right, so for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to do a quick showcase of 
this, the black sword. So this is the sword that you get from the battle pass arm. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick showcase and I wanna show you like how amazing the sword is. Um, so first of all, let's look at the sword. So the black sword. So it has a you know fairly average base attack for swords, but what's really special is the crit rate substat. If you have the crit rate substat, that means in your artifacts, um, I think, yeah, on, on your um, helmet slot, you can use a crit damage. You can use a crit damage artifact. And that means, you know, you still get decent crit rate, you know. In my case, because my subsets are really awful, my crit rate is also very low. But, um, you know, you can run a crit damage artifact. That means that if you do crit, you'll be able to do massive damage. And um, going back to the weapon, if we read its um, effect, justice, increase damage dealt by normal and charge attacks by 20%. This is a really, really nice effect. It's just a straight up 20% damage increase, especially if you like to play characters such as Jean, where um, if you're using her as a main damage dealer, the main source of damage from her is just her regular attacks. And um, also you, uh, the additional effect is that additionally regenerate 60% of attack as HP when normal and charge attack score a crit hit. This effect can only occur once every 5 seconds. I feel like this is a nice effect. Um, you know, it's not really game breaking, right? A little bit of healing every now and then is nice, right? But yeah, as you can see, this is... Um, this is really, really amazing. This is a really, really amazing weapon. So let's get started with the showcase. So let me just first try and find a Hillishaw camp somewhere nearby. All right, so we found some enemies. Let's see how much damage you can do with this um, sword. All right, 800, 1,700, 2,300. So the thing with this sword is that you want to, you know, build lots of crit damage from your artifacts. That means that, you know, when you don't crit, you don't do as much damage, but when you do crit, you do massive damage, right? So, <clears throat> ah, this shield guy is pretty annoying. Okay, let's see. Look at that E, 7k damage. I think that was a crit. All right, let's try again on some other enemies. I think there's another enemy somewhere nearby. Uh, okay, yep, there it is. 2300. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. And you get a nice healing. Um, yeah. All right. I guess before we finish, let's try do a domain. All right, let's get started. Yeah, so just one thing to note before we start, um, this in this domain, the physical damage dealt by all party members is increased by 75%. So we'll probably see a lot higher numbers. Let's see how fast we can clear this domain with just Jean's uh, regular attacks. <clears throat> see that damage? Oh, it's not that great. <laughs> I haven't been critting. Ooh, 2.9k, 2.9k. Uh, those are crits. 3k crit. And um, yeah, it's quite nice. Alright, I'm just gonna finish up quickly. They have way too much health. <clears throat> Doo -doo. <clears throat> mm, too easy. See that 6k from the E? I believe that was a crit. 3k, 2k, 3k, 2k. See all the massive damage. All right, let's finish this quickly. Oh, I'm going to kill these enemies quickly. Oh, I'm taking too much damage. Alright, see. See that? See that? Oh, I'm going to get here. Pretty nice. It's not game breaking, but it's nice to have. 
I'm just gonna make you Okay, where is he? Let me see I'm quick. Alright, so yeah, I guess that's about it for today's video. So um, as a quick recap, what I want to say today is that you know you should definitely consider getting the battle pass uh, if you want one of these weapons. Um, at the very least, the black sword is very nice. Arguably, I think it's comparable to a 5 star sword in terms of its substats and the effects that it has. I believe um, the very decent hunt is also quite good for bow, bow users, right? So for example, if you main Venti or if you main Fischl or maybe even Amber as your main DPS then you can definitely consider getting this weapon. The others I believe are alright, but not really that amazing because they have um, uh, So in the case of the Claymore and the Polearm, they have strong competition from um, free-to-play craftable uh, four star weapons. I'm not sure about Catalyst, but yes. So, yeah, you know, everything else honestly doesn't really matter. What really matters is the weapon. If you want the weapon, then you should definitely consider getting the battle pass. Alright, so that's about it for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed, and um, hopefully, it helped you make your decision on whether or not you're going to get the battle pass. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you again next time. Bye.